In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the latest hair loss news. We're going to be looking at two androgen receptor drugs that are currently being clinically trialed in China. Hey guys, Leon here and welcome to the Hair Guard YouTube channel. On this channel, we create tons of science-backed YouTube videos all about how you can combat hair loss and regrow healthy hair. Now, if you are new to the channel, do consider hitting that subscribe button. So just before we get into the video, if you want to see this type of content, if you want to see the latest hair loss news and what's going on in the community, just smash the thumbs up and let me know in the comments below and we can make we can start making more of these type of videos. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to jump into my computer and I'm going to share with you what I've discovered. So hey, we're now in my computer. So I was checking out Follicle Fort, which is a pretty good website for hair growth treatment news. And uh, I came across this article and a Chinese company called Kintour Pharmaceuticals are developing uh, two new drugs and they're androgen receptors. So I'll get into what they are in a little bit more detail in a minute. So they had this, so I'll just open it here. So we've got like this pipeline and their lead product, according to the company, and what they said here is proctolutamide. Um, this is what they say is yeah, their lead product. So this is a uh, androgen receptor antagonist used to treat all these things, but this could obviously be something that could help with hair loss. Uh, this has been in Chinese clinical trials up to the third clinical trial, so it could be hitting the market anytime soon. And they also had approval for US clinical trials, so this could definitely hit the market at some point. And uh, so it's a second generation AR antagonist and it's being tested for the indications of prostate cancer and breast cancer. And again, like I just said, it's reached phase three trial in China and it's currently being developed in an oral pill form. Now it's not being targeted for hair loss. However, any AR receptor drug is going to catch the attention of the hair loss community. Uh, due to the fact that the, that the androgen hormones or DHT and androgen receptors are thought to be the core mechanisms involved in pattern hair loss. Now that does sound pretty interesting. Uh, it's obviously not available on the market yet, but that could be a good thing. And I'll explain it in a little bit more detail why in a moment. Then they've also got this other drug, which is the KX826 androgen receptor antagonist, uh, which is seen here. And this is actually, they want to treat alopecia with this drug. So that's, that's pretty interesting. Now, as we can see, it's only in phase one in the clinical trials right now. Uh, but this is going to be a topical solution. So that could be something pretty interesting. Now, what they say here in this article is that it would also differentiate KX826 from finasteride because it's going to be a topical solution and it's going to lessen the likelihood of potential hormonal side effects from its use. So uh, it's not just us saying this, you know, it, they can cause side effects, especially finasteride. Now, Will, the founder of Hair God, he's going to be starting to make some content about his side effects that he experienced and it's part of the reason why Hair God was formed. Uh, we're looking forward to sharing that with you, but that will come at a later date. So make sure to hit subscribe if you want to get updated on when we make that content. But uh, what I want to go into now is the interesting thing. So, so what makes KX826 different is that instead of attacking DHT, which is what finasteride essentially does, it reduces the ability for DHT to attach to androgen receptors in the hair follicle. So this is cool because it doesn't affect hormone serum levels so it could actually be a viable treatment for not just men but also women as well so that's quite interesting so so the way that we see that this drug how it would play out into a hair care routine is because it doesn't block dht now this could be a good thing to add into a hair care routine but getting your healthy hair back is not going to be it's not going to be one drug that you take and then boom all problems are solved you've now got your hair back it, it doesn't work like that it's always going to take a multi-pronged approach. And what you want to ensure is that you actually get rid of the underlying cause of your hair loss first. Because if you don't do that, then anything that you do, it doesn't matter if you take KX826, it doesn't matter if you have a hair transplant, it doesn't matter if you take hair guard products, it doesn't matter what you do if you don't get rid of the underlying cause. So that's why we believe in taking a, a multi-pronged approach. So it, it involves things like alkalizing the diet. It involves things like de-stressing regularly. It involves things like having good scalp massage and using good products that can help improve blood circulation. Because if you do all these things and you add in 
uh, a drug like KX826, then you're going to be in the best chances of regrowing healthy hair. And so what we would recommend is, is starting this multi-pronged approach as soon as possible. Is, is finding why your hair is falling out and then, you know, exploring these type of options. But, you know, if, if, if let's say, for example, that you was using Hair Guard Scalp Elixir and helping topically block DHT and using something that also ensured that the DHT didn't bind to the androgen receptors, then that type of multi-pronged approach is exactly what's going to put you in the best possible way. So there's another great thing that you could use is the Derma Roller. And we created a very in-depth guide on the Derma Roller in the past. So I'll link you to that in the description. And, you know, it's having all these possible variables covered. And that's what we think is the best approach. So we do think that these drugs, you know, they're going to be very interesting. They're going to maybe shake up the market a little bit. Uh, we'll definitely keep you updated on that. If you want to see more content around what's going on in the hair loss news, what drugs are being developed, what's happening, what clinical studies are being published, let me know in the comments. Make sure to hit the thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.